Hey guys, this is Paul here from Gavin Mori, and today we're going to look at something uh, unusual. And uh, what we're going to look at is this mini submarine, remote control submarine from Air Hogs. And this Air Hogs usually makes uh, helicopters and airplanes, but this time they made this Dive Master remote control submarine. And as you can see on the side here, it operates on the brief frequency, and you can see that it's six way controllable and it uses four AA batteries. On the back of the box, it shows you some of the information on the uh, on the actual uh, toy and here is the uh, the barcode in case you guys want to look it up to see if you can find it anywhere if you're interested in buying it. Now it uh, says here that it's uh, only at Toys R Us, it's exclusive to Toys R Us but you might be able to find it somewhere else too. So let's open this thing up and uh, as you can see it's uh, fairly small. It fits in the, just the palm of my hand. Now this thing is made mainly out of plastic as you can see uh, everywhere. Uh, besides the few screws that's made out of metal. And on the front here we have this little window that's our compartment for charging and it has a three-prong con connector in there and once you close it it actually locks airtight and once it would be charged this uh, LED in the front would turn on the red. On the bottom that's the other compartment that allows the water to go in and out so that allows you to uh, dive and come back up. And in the rear you don't see it here but on the sides uh, next to the propeller there's the uh, the turning a compartment for uh, the water being forced out of there and that's how it turns. Now let's take a look at the remote control. The remote control you have the charger on the bottom that you have to plug into the uh, the submarine and on off button and that's the dive button on top and then the surface button and then directional button forward reverse and left and right. Okay so let's charge this thing up and what you do is uh, I put the batteries in there already and it's four AA batteries and once you turn it on you can see the uh, the charging light starts flashing and it flashes until it's being charged. Once it's charged it goes off and now you can see the submarine is charged by uh, the light flashing on it and as soon as I turn the remote control on you see that it will go solid that means that it links to the remote and now we can use it. So let's just run a quick test on it. You can see the propellers working, so let's take it into the water and let's see what we have to do with this. All right, so let's turn it on. And the first thing we want to do is you want to dip it under the water and just shake it a little bit while you're pressing on the left or the right directional buttons because that's how you want to fill up the compartment to get all the air out of the turning motor so that the, the, the submarine will turn left and right, as you can see in the, uh, the video right now. Okay, so let's uh, also look at the uh, the propeller action. As you can see, that's uh, also the uh, the turning device over here, the turning uh, compartment forcing the water out. And let's do a little bit of diving action. See how that works. That's down, and let's bring it back up. There you go, very nice. So now that we know that it works. Let's take it and have some fun with it in the aquarium. Now I have to tell you, as soon as I dipped this into the aquarium, the fish were very excited about it, so they started uh, picking on it. Now it's not doing it as much already, but some of the fish still come around and take a look at it, what this thing is. They're very surprised about something else swimming around in their environment. And uh, Unfortunately, sometimes I lost a little bit of uh, connection with the IR because of the fluorescent light from above in the fish tank. And I guess that's just a normal thing because fluorescent light will interfere with uh, IR signals. And as soon as I lose the signal, you can see the, uh, the red light in the front of the submarine starts flashing and then I lose uh, control over it. So unfortunately, that was uh, a little bit of a problem. But otherwise, it, it was pretty, uh, pretty cool to uh, play around with it. And the fish enjoyed it as well. They uh, they thought that they have a new toy in there for them. I also have to say that out of all the remote control vehicles that I ever had from uh, Airhawks or other uh, manufacturers, well, I can say this is probably the most fun to play around with because you not only can play with it in the uh, in your bathtub or swimming pool, but as you can see, you can mess around with it anywhere. It's just uh, up to your imagination. Now the price tag on these uh, submarines is forty-one dollars. Uh, I, like I said, I purchased it at Toys R Us. Uh, I could not find it anywhere online. Even on Toys R Us's website, I went on and I couldn't find it. Uh, even when I logged on to uh, Airhog's website, uh, there's 
not a word on it, even if you type in the, uh, the serial number and uh, the actual model number, nothing comes up on it. So I don't know why that is. I don't know if this is something really that exclusive to Toys R Us or uh, whatever the reason behind is. But uh, I guess maybe if you walk into Toys R Us, if you're interested in buying, you might be able to find one of these other things. And like I said, it's very cool. My kid's enjoying it a lot too. And uh, even for adults, it's, it's a really cool little thing to play around with. So if you guys liked the video, please thumbs up. Subscribe also if you haven't subscribed yet. I'd also like to thank again for all of my subscribers. Uh, you guys are the best. You guys keep me doing this. And if you guys have any ideas on any video projects, just please let me know. And I hope to uh, see you guys again soon. And again, this is Paul from Gamamori. Thank you for watching and see you soon in another video. Thank <laughs> you.